Hey, what's going on, Beowulf Nation? It's I'm Beowulf back at it with another video. First off, I just appreciate it. everybody could hit the like button. It definitely helps the video and the channel. So I greatly appreciate it. If you want to be one of the, the only dislikers, man, I can't help it. You got something wrong with you. <laughs> Anyways, I've, I've been slacking on videos because I've been sick with the virus. You know what I'm talking about. And uh, I'm still sick. I'm not, I, I, I want to film yesterday. I'm like, I got just so drained out that I just couldn't. And I'm like, I'm doing it today. You can't stop me. I keep on going. So uh, if you haven't seen my last video, I installed this awesome custom gauge cluster. I put a depth finder in and a boost gauge. And I'll have to redo stuff with the boost gauge because this kit that Automator sells, it has this like really, like, let me show you. So this is, this is some of what I cut very flimsy and it does not like it see if you slightly bend it it starts kinking up so it was a real pain in the butt and i thought for sure it was going to work and it didn't so i have to figure out some way of taking all back apart and doing a different line it's it's yeah it's not as easy as you think uh, but anyways you definitely could tell in my last video how much it made a difference with just getting an idea, because I've looked at maps and I got apps on my phone, figuring out the depth. But when you're actually there and it's seeing where the ocean was a very low tide, very low. Probably I think the last time I went out was the lowest I've ever seen it. I've seen it really low, which is crazy. Surrounding rivers are flooded and then the ocean, it's, yeah, it just all doesn't make any sense because it all flows together. It just, I don't understand that. It's just, if, if the rivers, that flow into the ocean and the ocean's low, but the rivers are flooded. It's very, it just all doesn't, it's complicated, right? So anyways, it was very interesting to get an idea where the depth is, which I'm really happy to have this ski where you have an option of putting this in there. Other skis, it's a little harder to do it. So um, definitely it makes it more custom and it really made a difference. I know people have been asking like, where's the install video? Well, I was sick when I like, I was starting to get sick without realizing I was sick the day I installed it and the day I went out with it all in the same day. So, and then plus two, some custom work, I like to have it where it's just like, hey, it's it's me that did it. So uh, it's different than when you buy something and I'm obviously showing how to install it because it's something somebody can buy and install. Everything I just did is completely custom. I figured to give a little closer look at this because it looks just so cool how custom this looks. And Outlaw Hy Hydrographics just did a killer job. I mean, honestly, everybody wants to get the newest ski that's out there. But I personally, my opinion, and I've had it by tons of people, they really do think that the Beowulf Edition GP1800R is the hottest in the game. And saying how I shouldn't get you know, even a lot nicer than the new ones. And you can tell just how, you know, I 100% agree upon people because when you look at the customization on this whole thing, the Beowulf Edition GP1800R, it is just unbelievable. Now I was thinking about take, getting, changing stuff with the sponsons doing the carbon fiber, but I just don't know if I want to do that. I actually think that's part of what makes it look so cool is the snake skin and they did such a killer job on it. I mean, just to have it where they have to take it all back and done just seems, it seems a little silly. I mean, I do think the carbon fiber would look cool, but basically right when you see this, you know it's me. And uh, I don't know, I've been on the fence with it. I was thinking about doing this in carbon fiber, but the reality is, is once you go look at how this all comes together, I just don't know if I really wanna go that crazy. Maybe some period of time, I'm just, maybe this and kind of work your way i guess but uh it is definitely really cool i mean if something's already hydro dip i'm not going to take it all back apart and do it um you know i got this big crucial thing too is to have a trickle charger on your ski um these are on my amazon store amazon.com slash shop slash i'm beowulf i got the other one on the kawasaki right there awesome hanging it right up and, uh, and basically, you know, I have this, well, I have it off just because of running a trickle charger, but
but this to air it out. Actually, before filming this, I have the seat off, I have the hood open, just having it always airing out is um, what to do. And this basically shows people too, this is the sock one. And uh, yeah, it really made a huge difference. It just, I think it looks really cool. And just the flow of this, it's just, oh man. I, I'm more and more in love with my GP 1800R. And it's, it's just all together. I just think it's turned, it's amazing where it's turned out from when I first bought it to what it is now. Customization and, and whatnot. And it just looks, it just looks so cool. Really happy with this ski. All around. There's not one thing that I really want to change. I think like something I like to do is possibly putting an intercooler on it. And, um, it, but the hard thing, a lot of these companies out there selling them, they're like, there's a weight. So I don't know. I mean, I think that would be the next and really do some upgrading with the water lines just for cooling wise. And then pretty much call it quits on what, to, what else can more can you do with this? My goal with the ski was never to be the fastest GP 1800R. I mean, I think looks, handling, and uh, speed is kind of up to, I've gone on every angle with this thing, having a super grippy seat by Jet Trim, the ankle mats by Jet Trim. I mean, it's, you know, the grip is there. You got the Revo Racing Sponsons. Um, you got the Revo, Revo Racing handlebar system that really made a difference. I mean, before the old system, I think it was coming up to about like right up to here. And uh, that definitely makes a difference. Now we got a boost gauge, we got a depth finder. And to be honest, I mean, I was thinking at one period of time of selling this ski, but the reality is, I don't think I'm ever gonna plan on selling it. I think I'm gonna have this thing for a very long time. And the reason why is you can easily, you know, let's say this thing gets 500, 600 hours. I still guarantee the engine's gonna keep on going. And if it comes to where it needs anything needs to be rebuilt, I mean, the reality, everything, I own the solitary skis. I don't owe any money on it. And why not keep it going? Because the reality is, where I'm a little worried about is the future, who knows what is gonna be going on with jet skis. And this thing could still be a real big contender 10 years, 20 years from now, that I think selling it at any period of time would be a huge mistake. And I'm not one of those people that like to hold on to stuff forever, but I reality is I'm really taking really good care of this ski. And uh, there's a bunch of new, I got some new videos coming out. We're gonna be doing another oil change on it. Um, you know, like some regular maintenance, getting ready for the incoming season of 2021. I always like to do my oil changes like heading right out of winter. Right now it's a little cold out. So I haven't done any riding, but it's kind of like, that's where I like to time it right in. And I really don't have a lot of hours on this ski either. I mean, it's, I think it's like, let's check it out. At 50, look at that, 52, 52 hours. And the crazy thing is I've had this since 2019. What is it, June? June, July-ish, I think it's June. June in 2019, I've had it. It's a 2019 Yamaha GP 1800R and I have only 52 hours and I ride it a lot. It's actually crazy. If you look how many videos I've made with riding this and I have that little hours, it's kind of hard to believe. It's crazy. I was looking at videos I've made. I've made as many videos as I had the Yamaha and I've had it longer as, and I've done almost the same amount with the Kawasaki SXR. I've done a lot of Kawasaki SXR videos. And uh, there's some news and future videos. We're gonna be talking about the Kawasaki SXR 1500, what's going on with the plans of that. But yeah, just figure the show this.